This video is a continuation of a video that I call Beginner Back Workout 1. On this video, I will be focusing on two similar exercises. The first one will be on the incline pull machine, and the other one will be on the lat pull down. Pretty much the same thing. I showed this picture, which is the thumbnails for this video, to illustrate some of the muscles that will be worked on. To have good defined back muscles, you have to do different exercises to get different muscle fibers. So this is why I have this picture, just to show you different movement, different angles that you might need to do to get good defined back. The thing that I always do before using any machines at the gym is to check the weight that the previous member had left on the machine. I adjust the weight to my liking, adjust the pad, and the, then position myself correctly to start the movement. The key to every exercise is to always like your body before doing any 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 sort of movements. But like your body, meaning that tighten your core muscles. Uh, you don't want your body to be jingling around um, while you're doing your movement so you don't get hurt. Once you finish positioning yourself to the uh, machine, you lock your core, then um, you know slowly pull the handle down toward your side. Um, always remember that the initial pull should always start with the muscles that you are trying to target. In this case, is your back muscle. On your way up, still maintain control of the motion. Don't let the weight pull you up. This is why you have to put a moderate um, weight that you know you could handle. Um, at least the weight that you... You, sh you should be able to do about eight good repetitions. By the time you get to, I guess, nine to 12 repetition, you have to do a little bit of struggling. So you want a moderate uh, weight that is not too heavy and not too light. So it's something you have to test out as you, you know, do some of those exercises a couple of times. I showed this picture because uh, you could see I'm not even flexing. You could see all the muscles on my back. So this is the other exercise machine that I, the lat pull down, that I wanted to show you guys. This one is a bit, I guess, more flexible. You could put different handle. Um, right now I'm using a close grip. Um, you could put different angles, um, not angles, different uh, handles um, to do your workout. Uh, like I said, this is a close grip, and as you can see, I lock my body, and one thing I like to do is to put those blue pads underneath, because uh, the pad that will hold me um, on my knees, uh, on my quad, is a bit higher, and uh, if I don't use the pad, um, I find myself moving too much, so I always put uh, the blue pad to keep myself uh, stable. Um, as you can see, I'm not really moving that much. The only thing that's moving right now is just my uh, arm. Uh, well, technically my arm is just being used as a hook, and I'm just pulling with my lower back. And one thing I always do whenever I finish with any materials that I'm using at the gym, I always put it back. Um, I hate when I have to look for things around. Um, it's always good to put whatever you use um, back to its uh, where you know it's supposed to be. And right now I'm going to do a wide grip. As you can see, I changed the, uh, the handle. Um, I stable myself, put my feet on the blue pad, and then um, I start pulling. And as you can see, all the back muscles that's being used right now, um, not used, being targeted. Um, I like to do the full stretch all the way up and then pull pull down with my upper back. Um, like I said before, the initial pull should always start with the muscles you're trying to target. Then as you get to a little bit, you know, you start doing a bit more repetitions, you might get a bit tired, it's okay to start pulling with your arm now. So now I change the location of my hand position on the bar, this is a bit closer. And one thing you have to make sure is always make sure you like right and right try to center yourself with the bar. Um, I don't know how is what else to put it, but you have to make sure the bar is centered the way you hold it. Again, still the same movement. It's just the location of my arm, uh, my hands, and. Uh, 
and you could see all the my trap, my lat, all the muscles that's being used to uh, being used. So now I change the position of my hand again. I'm doing underhand. Um, this is why this one's a bit more flexible than the one I did before. Um, I guess I could do it, but I think I did try it once on the other machine. It just felt uh, a little bit uncomfortable because the machine is so fixed that I can't really do all the different things that I'm doing right now with this, uh, with the cable. So, uh, you know, sometimes you just have to play with the stuff, um, the machines, and see what's best, what works best for you. So pretty much all I'm doing is showing you different ways you could uh, use it. And I didn't put uh, heavy weight because I know I was going to be doing a lot of repetitions. <laughs> I took a little break. And now I sit back down, lock myself. I'm using another right grip, but this time I angle my body about, I guess, 130 degrees. And I start doing the same movement, but different angle. So all this is just being targeted different muscle fibers on your back. And uh, pretty much, you know, as you get used to it, you're doing more exercises, you'll find things that you, you know, that pretty much will work for you. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.